Soon the sounds of gunfire, cannons, and battle cries will ring through the bluegrass region at this year's Battle of Perryville, a national Civil War reenactment on the same day it originally happened 154 years ago. Thousands of reenactors from all over will mount their horses and draw their weapons for the historic clash between the Confederate and Union armies at Perryville Battlefield State Historic Site. The Battle of Perryville is a significant part of Kentucky history and is the actual western high watermark of the Confederacy. Perryville Battlefield State Historic Site Manager Kurt Holman explains. In the late summer, early fall of 1862, um, there were seven Confederate armies on the offensive all across the country. And the farthest they got north in the Western Theater is Perryville. Um, and they were stopped here literally at a stone wall that we recently uh, acquired. And then they were pushed back. So this is what they call the high water, Western high water mark of the Confederacy. I will be personally giving a tour of that on the evening of the reenactment, um, a special tour up to that area, up to the stone wall, to explain the, uh, what happened up there. New this year, guided walking tours will be offered on these hallowed grounds leading up to the battle, allowing guests a glimpse of the history of the battlefield, as well as what to expect during the reenactments. We try to do the battle scenarios as close as we can to what originally happened. So we have lots of speakers, we have the camps you can go into, we have drill demonstrations, and the camps where you can walk through and interact with the, uh, with the soldiers, either Union soldiers, Confederate soldiers, or even we have a civilian area where they're, they'll be um, doing mid-19th century civilian activities. The way we've laid out the battles and spectator viewing areas will be perfect for seeing all the action, gunfire, even the burning of the cornfield and Bottoms Barn. The Saturday battle, which we call the fight for the cornfield, um, the spectator line is really long and it can almost be thought of as a parade because at the battle keeps moving in one direction and you know people are free to walk along with it. The event is really spread out, it covers a lot of territory, so if anyone's coming I would really suggest you wear comfortable walking shoes because there's going to be a lot of that involved. We're doing something completely new on Sunday. We're using ground that's never been used before. The troops will be fighting in areas that no troops have been in in 154 years. We're trying to have a 360 effect. The spectators will actually be on the road and the battle will be going around both sides of them. Right now, tickets are being sold online. Visit parks.ky.gov, scroll down, and click on the Battle of Perryville button. Keep an eye out for more informational videos on the upcoming 154th Battle of Perryville, a National Civil War reenactment.